friends. I just want to live out what the Bible says about, about life with one another. Man, our church, the people in it, they, they just want to, to live righteous, holy lives. And they'll do anything that it takes. They'll actually ask each other to hold each other accountable and to help each other and to, to, to spur each other and, and because they want to be pure and spotless before God. That's what's going on in my church. You want to know how my church is doing? We're doing pretty well. We have, we have godly leaders in our church. Godly leaders who really take very seriously the responsibility that they have to the flock. They want to teach. They want to train. They want to spur on and you know what? We as a church, we, we submit to their authority. And we make their job easy. Man, in our church, it's going really well. The older men, the older women are taking so seriously the job that they've been given to teach the younger men and women. We're doing well. In our church, oh, we are all about making disciples. We're not interested in just coming and filling a pew on Sunday morning. In our church, we want to go and we want to disciple people. We want to follow Christ's command and make disciples. In our church, we're doing pretty well. We're, everybody's out doing something. Everyone has a ministry of some sort. They're out impacting the community. They're out impacting Newcastle. Each one of them. And then we come together and we share the stories of what's going on in each other's, in each other's ministry. Now you see, a faithful church Involves each person doing what? Doing nothing out of selfish ambition or vain deceit, but rather in humility of mind, considering others more important than themselves. Looking not to their own interests, but to the interests of others. If you want to be the faithful church that God has called you to be, you need to put yourself aside and take ownership. So this week, I hope that, that God's word is impactful in your life, and I hope that you meditate on it. That may be, that little, that little two-second sermon may be the sermon you needed to hear. Because what I've seen is if you want to grow up, you've got to meditate upon what you've been taught. You need to take a look at these verses during the week. You need to wake up in the morning and read them and look over these points and say, how can we be more faithful? Okay? So, are we done? Let's pray. And then we're done. Right. Lord, we gather together as a group of people that you have chosen, that you have called out, called out of this world and unto yourself. And Lord, we know that if we truly are faithful to your word, that we will be aliens. That people will think that we are odd. That the things that we do will be looked at as kind of weird. But Lord, we also know that people will see such a difference in our lives. That people will see so much love that we have for each other. See such a desire to live pure, righteous lives that we'll just see God. We'll just see something. And then we'll be able to proclaim this because of Jesus Christ. So Lord, I pray that you give each person in this, in this church this day a tremendous love for God, a tremendous love for the Word of God, and a tremendous desire to see God's church be pure and spotless and faithful to what the Word teaches. Lord, I pray for East Brook Presbyterian Church that you would bring revival to this place. Holy Spirit, that you would come and just awaken folks, Lord, and, and just turn them mightily towards you. And God, that you might bless this church. Lord, that this would be a church that is recognized as, as a church that is something different, that is set apart, that is faithful unto you, God. Lord, I just pray your blessing upon it. God, I thank you for the opportunity to come here with these people today, and I thank you for the desire that they show to be taught and to know the Word of God. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we praise your name and thank you for your Word and what it teaches. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.